Who was Emmett Till? Emmett Till was a 14-year-old African-American boy born in Chicago who would end up being the victim of one of the most infamous hate crimes in history. The pictures on the first slide are of Emmett Till before he was part of a massive hate crime. What happened to Emmett Till was a horrific event where he was brutally murdered on August 20, 1955. When Emmett Till was 14 on vacation in St. Louis, he was falsely accused of defending a white woman in her family's grocery store, which ended up in a group of racist men kidnapping and torturing Emmett, which would end in his death. The picture shows his body at a funeral after he was beaten and tortured by racists. People do not know exactly what happened in that grocery store, but it is notable that Carolyn Bryant, the woman that accused him, ended up admitting she was lying about the whole thing. Issue is, rather false or not, those men were going to kill Emmett no matter what would happen. They ended up kidnapping him, beat him, brutally dragged him to a river, and they shot him in the head tied him with barbed wire to a large metal fan and mutilated his body into the water. All this because he was accused of flirting with a woman. The photo on the screen is an artist's representation of the brutal mutilation that happened to Emmett on the right and the left is before this all ever happened. Emmett Till's funeral was on September 6, 1995, at Roberts Temple Church of God in Christ. Emmett Till's mother decided not to have makeup put on her son's dead body and decided to have an open casket funeral to show what happened to Emmett's body. Emmett's body was mutilated and beaten up with 50,000 people in Chicago to see, which shuddered black Americans around the country as they saw Emmett's body in a magazine. The trial of Emmett Till will go down as one of the most biased and racist history trials in all of history. An all-white jury found Roy Bryant and J.W. Millam were both found not guilty after they both mur murdered Emmett Till. My God. After the trial, they would constantly brag about murdering the boy and got away scot-free with the murder of a 14-year-old boy.